Hey guys, Kitty here. And before I start this video, let me just explain what this is, where this came from, in that I'm busy at the moment. I am very busy preparing um, some videos for you guys during this beautiful, lovely, romantic month of February. So I am currently writing, editing, and recording um, two giant videos in an anime review for you guys. But um, about last week, I recorded this video on my first impressions of animes that I'm watching during the winter season, and it ended with my three favorite animes of the season. I haven't gotten around to editing that audio because I'm so busy with the other three videos that I'm planning on doing, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to get around to um, editing that audio and getting that whole video up. So I decided to take one of the segments in the video, which was my first impressions on the anime Erased, which is currently the most popular anime of the season. I decided to upload it, I mean, I decided to edit and upload that part of the video because I thought it was the most interesting part of the video. So here we are now. Uh, this is more of a podcast, so you're not supposed to watch this video, just Put it up and let it play in the background and listen to me talk about and somewhat rant about this anime because I I have some shit to say, to be totally honest. But hopefully you will hear me out and hopefully you will enjoy this audio. Maybe I'll get the full video up, but knowing me right now, that probably won't happen. So I'll probably just upload this and I'll upload um, my thoughts on my favorite anime of the season. And when the season ends, I'll just make a final impressions video. So yeah, here you go. I hope you all enjoy my thoughts on the anime Erased. Um, yeah, enjoy. Boku Dake ga Enaimachi, aka The Town Where Only I Am Missing, aka Erased, is my second favorite anime of the season. I am really liking it. I am really enjoying it. And that's exactly why I am so disappointed in this anime. Before you jump on me, before you um go out in the comments like, oh, why don't you like this show? I do like it. I'm really liking it. But I am so disappointed in this anime. I am very disappointed in this anime. But before I talk about that, let's let me talk about the stuff that I like. So First, I like the detail of the older man being in his younger self. I like how he's thinking over himself while he's talking. I like how sometimes he says things out loud that he doesn't mean to say. That's a very nice little added detail. I also like the concept of how his older self um, traveled back through time and got trapped in his younger self. I always liked that concept in anime and I always wanted to see it done like this because I've seen where the 30 year old goes back to being 16 but I always wanted to see the 30 year old go back to being 8 and I really like seeing that this is the first time that I've seen that executed and it's being executed pretty well. I like the openings and the endings. I feel like there's a lot of hidden meaning behind them and I'm still trying to kind of dissect them but I know that Mother's Basement is going to have a field day with these with the OP and the ED. If you guys don't know who Mother's Basement is Definitely check him out. He has a series called What's in, What's in an OP, and I really like it. My favorite episode is actually the JoJo one. Finally, the direction in episode two is amazing. I love the park scene. The park scene was the best directed scene in the whole anime so far, if you ask me. Now for the stuff that I disliked. The first episode was very slow and the direction was very, very poor. Like, it just felt like the director didn't care and then you get episode two and it's like, finally, he cares about something and we get the park scene and everything's right with the world. But that's no excuse on why you had a poor first episode. Second, the sound design is very poor. I hate when... The guy, the main character, he sees the butterfly and then he goes back in time. And I hate that sound that is made. It sounds like a bat is hitting on something. It's like a sharp, really sharp, annoying sound. It's kind of painful on the ears when you're listening, when you're watching this anime with headphones. The third thing that I don't like is the main character. I do not like this main character. He just seems like 
a 20 year old loser who's mad at the world and who blames everybody else for his failures he always pins everything on everybody else he has this very poor attitude i really do not like a character like that and i did not like this the main character in the first episode i just don't like the first episode in general i remember watching the first episode and just thinking this is what people are so hyped up about and then you watch episode two and okay i get it then you just keep on watching it to like episode three and you're like oh okay i get it last thing i don't like it's kind of a nitpick but what was up with that emo poem in episode two the poem that the little girl wrote where she's talking about how she's off in an island and nobody would notice nobody would care that she was gone nobody would even think about her i'm just thinking nobody nobody's seeing this right now this girl is talking about running away she's clearly showing signs of abuse in this poem and nobody's questioning it nobody's questioning this at all i mean god i know it's the 80s and i know you're all hey dragon quest is out but this is really like really um so that's it my enjoyment value for the show is pretty high right now uh after episode one that is episode one didn't get interesting until spoiler alert the mom gets stabbed <laughs> like at the end of episode one the mom is murdered and i'm like okay now finally something is happening something is picking up something is picking up and i i can already tell what direction this show is going i play life is strange butterfly effect yada 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 so either it's going to end the way i think it is or something different is going to happen and it's going to end in a new way so yeah that's my thoughts on the show now to tell you why i'm so disappointed in this anime and the reason for that is actually very simple i'm so disappointed in this anime because it's an a1 pictures anime and i do not like a1 pictures the main problem i have with a1 pictures is that they promise but they don't deliver a1 pictures is on my shit list for a reason because they have so much potential they say hey you're, we're gonna give you this and it's gonna be awesome and we never get it now they actually made shows that i like i liked suritama I love Your Lion April, and I'm a big fan of Black Butler, but those are only a handful of good shows. And with that handful, they have a giant dumpster, a giant truck full of shit. Everybody knows how much I hate Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online is the worst anime that I have seen. Their light novel adaptations are garbage. Every time I see the words light novel next to A1 Pictures name, that is a immediate red flag for me to turn around and stay away. They make so many animes that I absolutely hate besides Sword Art Online. Out of Noah Zero, absolutely atrocious. Black Butler 2 can go die in a fire. They make animes that start off so good, so promising, and then in the end, they just disappoint you. They just disappoint you. Sometimes they will give you what they promise, but that's only 5 10% of the time. I remember watching Your Lie in April and just thinking that it was going to fail, but no, they actually gave me what I signed up for and a bit more but at the same time that doesn't reply to the rest of their animes i feel like there are actually people at a1 pictures who cares about these shows but maybe the studio was just holding them behind because they're like oh let's make this like this and it will be better how about we just don't care anymore i feel like that's what's constantly going through the minds of the studio and it's that exact reason why i'm so disappointed in erase because I am enjoying this so much. I'm enjoying this anime so much, but it's because I know the studio that I know I'm going to be disappointed in the end. I know that somewhere down the line, probably around episode 10, everything is just going to go to hell. And the second red flag on why I think this show is going to disappoint me is because it's from the director of none other this sword art online my most hated anime of all time and if that doesn't tell me something if that doesn't tell me how i know the show is going to crash and burn i do not know what else will 
it doesn't make it any better because the director of Sorted Online was also the assistant director of Summer Wars and A Girl Who Left Through Time, two of my favorite anime movies of all time. And just because you have one or two good um, anime credits doesn't mean anything to me. But that's just a side reason. I cannot care less that the guy who's directing Erase directed Sword Art Online. That's just kind of a nitpick. A1 Pictures is the reason why I think the show, this show is going to fail. Now, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in the end, A1 Pictures will actually keep their promise and the show will end on a good note. Yeah, okay, that would be pretty cool. And I'll admit, I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. A1 Pictures, congratulations. You got the best of me. But does that change anything? No. Just because you got this one anime into your little handful doesn't change the fact that you still have that giant truck heading to the junkyard. 